Hi everybody, welcome to a very special event on the Prague Report channel. This is Progist, our 31 day music listing challenge during the month of August, where we present a different album every day, something you may not have heard, maybe it's something you haven't heard in a while, maybe it's an album you love, or even one you hate. Uh, but the goal is to bring up a mix of classic albums, some obscure choices as well, to round out all of our musical knowledge. Uh, a new video will be posted every day where we present the album of the day with some notes by all of us here on the channel. And we invite you to go and listen to it and then leave your comments below in the YouTube video or on socials wherever these are posted. We hope you enjoy this. It's going to be a lot of fun. And thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to keep up to all these videos. Okay, and now for today's album. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to the first album of Progress, day number one. We're going to kick it off with the uh, oldest album on our list, uh, going back to 1971. This is considered a big classic album from the band Caravan in the Land of Grey and Pink, um, released in 1971, their third studio album. Um, a lot of us have heard about the Canterbury scene. This album is considered to be one of the quintessential recordings from that era, uh, combining, uh, you know, prog, jazz, psychedelia, um, very whimsical, surreal lyrics, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, notable tracks, uh, opening track, Golf Girl, kind of a weird title, very catchy tune. Uh, of course, the title track is memorable. And uh, there's a 22-minute suite called Nine Feet Underground, um, which uh, received a, a lot of acclaim and is one of the notable songs. The album cover is recognizable. This is sort of one, even if you don't like it, uh, it's one of those albums you sort of need to know to be a well-rounded prog fan, and maybe it's one that a lot of us haven't heard. So, thought it'd be a worthy way to kick off. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a bedrock album, and I think it 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 spawned the whole scene of 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 music and bands um, in in that kind of style of I suppose coming out of psychedelia uh, prog. So, yeah, an interesting listen. It's it's not uh, yes Genesis exactly, but it definitely sounds like a uh, its predecessors, and uh, it is a fun record to listen to if you get into it. So give it a listen. Write your comments below. Let us know what you think about it, and join us for the next one. <laughs> 